Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our trash can system that we have going. It's been 27 days since our last update, and during the last update we added, I think, about 6.6 6 pounds, 6 ounces worth of food. So it was a fairly large feeding, but it has been quite a bit of time between the feeding and when we're going to do this update, and we're going to add another 6 pounds, 8 ounces of food. So we're going to add a lot of food to it again. And I've been trying to shrink down that time frame between checkups. I just haven't been able to do it. You know, work is, my, my job is a little bit more important than this channel is as far as getting stuff done. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to find some time as some of the, uh, the major things in my life have uh, calmed down a little bit. But with that, let's take a look at my system, see how it's doing. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave, a, please leave them down below and let me know. Let's go take a look at our trash can system. All right, here's our trash can system. And our last update was on January 12th, and today is February 8th. Again, I'm going to put that little line there. We are definitely going to feed it today. Let's open it up and take a look inside. Well, first off, there isn't much moisture on the top here. It's not surprising. This system doesn't get quite as moist because it's uh, fairly open. Lots of air running through it. But let's go ahead and uh, get on a glove and take a poke around inside here and see how this is doing. So one of the things I want to point out, it's very, I don't know if you can tell, but it's oblong. It's not a circle anymore. And that's because of the weight in here and also because of the fact that when I pull it out, a lot of times I stretch it. Um, and I'm not really putting pressure on it this way. So that's why it's sort of oblong compared to what it would be normally. And we'll guess, we already see worms right on the surface over here. Oh, I, already, I missed some. Oh, here we go. There's one right over here already on the surface. Actually, let's just zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. Um, I feel coffee grounds right here, so worms are probably migrating towards these coffee grounds, which is a normal thing for them to eat, but they can sometimes take a while to break down. And the worms look pretty decent size. They're not really small. I mean, they're red wigglers to begin with, so they're already small, but they're not um, teeny tiny, which I have seen in this system in the past. Let's just see in here. You can see there's uh, definitely some moisture in the system. Another worm right over there. What is this right here that we're... This, Oh, this is just a piece of compost, I think, in here that I threw under the top. But you can see the worms are surrounding this as they try to break it open and get inside. So that's what they'll do with these things. And actually, I can see some white pot worms, it looks like, on there. I can't break it open, but there's a good amount of worms right near that. There's a lot of moisture, too. And you can see a variety of sizes. That means they're multiplying in here. That's always a good sign. And let's go ahead and put those guys back. We'll break open these coffee ground packages. Now let's just go ahead and dig in on, over here into this side over here. And again, we've got more worms right near the surface here. We're just below that paper. You can see a bunch of different worms in there. As we break this open, a whole bunch of worms inside. This system is doing great as normal. You can just see there's a huge variety of worms in here. Food's pretty much gone. Even though we added in that huge amount, the coffee grounds can sometimes take a while, especially when the packages are frozen solid like that. Let's just go ahead and dig on this side over here. You can just see tons of worms in here. I mean, look at this. They're all through this system, and there's also a lot of pot worms in here I've noticed too, it looks like. That's normal. I, I don't really care about pot worms being in the system. They can be in there or not. Um, I found that they are composting, but look at this. I mean, you can just see there's tons of worms. This is probably another, it's another piece of compost from the system in the bottom that was just broken, you know, that didn't break apart really when I broke it out, when I tried to break it apart. And it feels like it's softening up a little bit and the worms are trying to work their way in there. So it's almost like an inoculated section, I guess, if you want to say. Let's just go ahead and check over here. Same thing, tons of worms. Um, I want to say that these are seeds that are growing, though. I think these are pepper seeds right here that are growing. So, but look at that, just tons of worms. Again, pot worms, but that's fine. Um, just very, very vibrant system in here. Those are definitely seeds that are growing. Um, pepper seeds there. So, happens. They'll get plowed into the system and they're going to keep breaking down. All right, let's just move some more of this paper over in this direction. Let's check this top section again. I can already see tons of worms on top here. Great sign. And we can just pull that up and look at that. Nice, healthy amount of worms all through there. The other thing I've noticed, let me just see if I can grab this one, is that I'm seeing these little guys, which are composters. Let me just see if I can grab them here. 
There we go, this little millipede. And we can see him. So those are composters too. They are found all over your system. There's a bunch of them in here. Actually, there's a whole bunch more on my gloves right there. So they're all over this system as well. They break down stuff. They are harmless to your worms. They're actually good composter. I've actually had somebody mention, hey, can you make a bin filled with just millipedes? And I've never tried, um, but I have had one bin that was just really populated with them. They seem to love compost. They seem to really help with the system. So don't, don't be upset if you find them in your system. They're, they're perfectly fine. Centipedes are bad. Centipedes will eat your worms. So let's just break this up a little bit more. You can see there's not some more chunks in here. Let's look at the center section. Again, tons of worms. I mean, this system just looks really, really good. There's a, just a huge variety and there's tons of worms. The worms are working through the food. Not much food left in here. You know, we got these coffee grounds, you got some seeds, but those are normal things that take a while. Again, lots of pot worms, perfectly fine. Not a big deal. It usually means that things are maybe a little bit too moist or too acidic, but I've never had an issue with them where it's like, oh my God, they're killing my worms or something like that. I've never had that. So there. I'm going to spread this back out again. Now look at that. We've got our nice paper layer right there. I'm going to add a little bit of paper on top here just because there's some worms near the surface. Although there is quite a bit of paper in here still. I'm not really worried about paper. I've got tons of paper. In fact, I will have a video later at some point about paper. This is dry paper here. I'm just throwing it in the top. Uh, particularly this cardboard paper. I've got tons of it. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our food and add our food. I'm just going to reach across the light here for a second. And here's our first container of food. I am going to smash this on the counter here. You're going to hear a loud bang. I just want to break it apart. There we go. That didn't really break it apart very much. But at least it all came out of the container. It was all frozen in here. As you know, I almost always add frozen food. There we go. There's our first container. Let's just see what we can break apart in here. First off, we've got lots of asparagus, tea leaves, we've got some orange peels, uh, banana peels, or my normal mixture of stuff. We've got, it looks like a bad apple in here, or part of a bad apple. More banana peels, tea grounds, some coffee grounds, not as many this time. Uh, it looks like there might only be two, three bags in here. Lots of tea grounds though. Let's just see if we can break these apart a little bit more. Now, this is hard to do one-handed. I don't have a glove on my other hand just in case I need to grab something. I don't want to constantly be taking on and off gloves if possible. But there you go. actually four, four bags of coffee grounds. Let's just see if we can rip this one open a little bit here. There we go. We got this one open. It's not the paper that they want to eat. It's the coffee grounds. There we go. Let's see if we can get some of those out of there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get those apart or that apart. Oh, right, there we go. Got, got, it, got that apart, too. Just give them a little bit of an in there into those coffee grounds. And same thing over here. There we go. All right. There's our first container. And here's my second container. This one doesn't look quite as full, but again, same thing. Just going to smash that on the counter there. And this one has... There we go. We got most of that out, too. Scrape this out a little bit. All right. Another large feeding into this system. This time we've got coffee grounds again inside of this, uh, what is this, uh, grapefruit. We've got some, uh, what are these, grapes, apple core, the other half of the grapefruit, and then lots of coffee in this one. This one is a coffee one, it looks like, and tea. So... You can just see we're getting a lot of a lot of stuff in here. Some tea bags. I think there might have been um actually this tea bag might be some spearmint and peppermint. I think this was a, a uh, Jack Frost tea that I had. So and then uh, let's just see here if I can break this open a little bit more. And then we're going to add in our crushed crab and eggshell. Now we're going to put these upright though. Actually maybe this one. I'm going to put some crushed crab and eggshell in these uh, grapefruit. By the way, I am putting on a mask. You should always do the same when working with this stuff. You should be wearing an N95 mask at least. And then I'm going to go ahead and spread this on here. This is going to help give them some grip. But also for this, anything that's like citrus, it's going to help neutralize pH. 
Oh, that's the last of this, for this container. I need to refill it. But there we go. That's enough. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to flip this one over. And the only reason why I'm doing that is that way it kind of acts as a dome. That's going to keep the moisture in. And give the worms a good opportunity to get up in there. Now, last part to this is, of course, our wet cardboard. So I've got my container right here filled with wet cardboard. And we're going to go ahead and dump that on top. If I can get it out. There's some water splashing out of there, too. There we go. Nice big pile of wet cardboard. Spread that around. Actually, might need a little bit more than this. I don't have any. I don't have any any extra wet cardboard. I might have to add some dry cardboard on top, just to kind of make sure everything's covered. I do like to make sure that it's all at least has some paper on top. Well, maybe that's enough. All right, there we go. So that is my update for this system. It is still doing incredibly well. And uh, we're going to keep going at it, uh, maybe for a little longer. But at some point, I might put a stop to this one. This system is a little bit harder to run than my urban worm bags and my verma bag, which is just a zipper. You know, having, especially harvesting this one is just really hard. So I think this might be, this might be the last year that I'm running this. It is the beginning of the year, so we'll probably run it towards the middle of the year, and then I'll probably empty it out. So with that, thank you for watching. If, again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching.